Elizabeth? Elizabeth. All right, Elizabeth, you can come out now. I know you're out here somewhere. How did you know I was here? You always hide out here in the woods when someone hurts your feelings. Well, you can just go back. I'm not coming with you this time. That's what you always say. Well, I mean it this time. I'm not going back. I'm going to live out here in the woods. I'm going to become a hermit. A hermit? Yes, that's someone who lives alone. I know what a hermit is. Why do you want to become a hermit? So people can't hurt me anymore. If there's nobody around, nobody can hurt my feelings. That's true. But you were not created to live alone. How do you know? Because you're a human being, and human beings were made in God's likeness. What does that mean? God is a trinity. His very nature is relationship. And so is yours. If you isolate yourself out here in the woods, you will be missing a key ingredient in your life. Well, good riddance. I don't need any relationships. All I get from relationships is hurt feelings. So, you can go back and tell my so-called friends that I never want to see them again. Well, I could do that. But you have no idea what you'd be missing. What I would be missing is rude and thoughtless people who can only think about themselves. Actually, you'd be missing a bit more than that. Like what? Like encouragement. Yeah, right, like those thoughtless, selfish friends of mine. Would ever stop thinking about themselves long enough to give me any encouragement. You've got a point there. Being human means that sometimes they get a little self-centered now and then. Now and then. All right. Just for the sake of argument, let's say that your friends are selfish most of the time. Well, they are. But that means that at times, they actually think about others. Are you saying that your friends never were there for you to encourage you, to support you? Well, I can't say never. You see, the fact is that you are just as a human as your friends. You have moments when you're there to encourage and support others. But you also have moments of selfishness. Wouldn't you admit that it's true? Well, I suppose so. But out here, all alone, there's no one else but you. Selfishness is all that's possible without friends to encourage you to think bigger than yourself. Life becomes stagnant and boring if no one is there to encourage you to grow beyond yourself. Is it what you want? Well, no. But there's another reason you shouldn't be alone. What's that? You know, I came out here looking for you because I heard that you had your feelings hurt. But what's going to happen way out here when you get hurt or discouraged and there's no one here to help you? No one will even know if you've been hurt or discouraged. I suppose that's true. And what if there's a real crisis? What if you get so badly injured that you can't even go for help? I never thought of that. Out here, all alone, you're protected from having your feelings hurt? But you put yourself in a position where you can't possibly be anything but selfish and you could actually put yourself in danger. That's why God created us as relational creatures. We need each other. I suppose we do. I suppose I should go back home. You really wanted me to talk you into going back, didn't you? No. What makes you say that? Spiders and snakes. Where? Don't leave me. I need you. Based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute this script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement.